Our next guest is a mom of two making big waves in the comedy world. Zhao Ying Summer is joining us now before she takes the stage this weekend at the Laugh Factory. Good morning. Thanks for joining morning. us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're so excited. <laughs> me too. We, we clearly love to laugh. So there's that. Who? Oh, <laughs> okay, maybe it's just me. Right. But so we love that you're here. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, let's get right to it. I'm going to let you. What? Oh, okay. Well, oh, oh. I was going to say, you know, we, <laughs> we designed the bricks for you. Ooh. So, like, when you yes. look at oh the background, it's, it's just like you're at the Laugh Factory. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Here's what I find interesting. Ready? There's this theory, there's an old stigma about comedy and comedians that like, uh, you know, because it says you were Miss China 2014. Look at that. And that, that can't be uh, somebody who's funny. And then the guys who start bulking up and getting muscular, they can't be funny. This is not true. How did you get into comedy? Uh, I was always uh, uh, the person make everybody laugh because I like attention. <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty. Yeah, That's very I, like, good. I want attention. I need attention. And the growing up in China, darker skin and big lips, I wasn't considered traditionally beautiful. I wasn't a pretty girl. You know, I just like, um, let me make them laugh. They look at me. Yeah. I'll be popular. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so interesting. I like it. It's I'm, interesting I'm, how she mentioned that, though. Yes, because it's a whole, it really is cultural throughout yes. the world who mm -hmm. defines beauty and what's the difference mm -hmm. in, in beauty is, right? So, how did you end up? I'm curious how you got into this uh, Miss, Miss, uh, or the Miss China pageant and how you win this. What was that process? It's like? uh, an LA uh, pageant. Uh -huh. I, I was just, uh, I saw that as an audition. Wow. And then I just saw it's a huge challenge because yeah. a, a girl look at me in China wouldn't be considered beautiful. And I just want to make a statement that uh, yeah. you can be beautiful as uh, Eastern. Asian woman with darker skin, big lips, and uh, not very skinny. Oh. So what? and uh, I did it, and uh, it, I, I, I just think is it was back then when I was that age. That's something I wanted to do. Yeah. And, well, and I now I won't do it. I go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now She's like, I'm, I'm not gonna gonna do 20 it again. pounds. I miss Chinatown. Oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> I think you look beautiful, by the way. Thank but you. here's the thing. So you went from China, and then you went to was it school in Kentucky? Yes, I went to college in Kentucky when I was 18. Wow! And then what did you when you came up there? They were like, we like the I dark skin. I got two skin. words for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, culture shock. Yes. Culture shock. And then, well, now me. I'm in LA. People are like, Kentucky, really? I'm like, yes, really. Nobody lies about going to Kentucky. <laughs> did I say Harvard? It's Kentucky. Culture I, shock. People were nice. Yeah. Everybody's, oh. Like, I mean, how? Why Kentucky? <laughs> so <How>? I <laughs> tried to convince my mom to come to America for school, and she she won't agree. But she's like, you know, if you can apply school on your own and get your visa, you can go. I got my first offer from University of Kentucky. Okay. I need a offer for a visa. I just think if yeah. I can go from China to Kentucky, I can go from Kentucky to New York. You know. Yeah. So wow. that's what I did. I want to get it before my what mom changed her mind. Oh, yeah. You're right. Before she changed her mind. Oh. Know, they don't mess around. So did she ever come to the U.S. though? She's actually here now. Okay. Uh, in nice. the Maxi Hotel uh, downtown. Okay. San Diego. Two, two babies. Is she watching? She's she, with the kids. I think she's watching for sure. She hey, tell hey, me. Mom, uh, what's her name? What's she tell me my fat is showing when I got home. Oh. I know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I know what she's watching. That's what moms are for. Yeah. Yes. Because mm -hmm. if moms didn't say that to you, they're not really yeah. doing their mom job, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, um, I want to talk about this TikTok because, I mean, I don't know how you have uh, a, a million. million followers on the wow. TikTok, 20 million likes. Uh, social media really has changed how comedians get their names out there. Mm -hmm. I. I don't understand TikTok. I, I get like the same three things. That I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so when I opened my comedy club, it was on my son's first year birthday. Yeah. It's uh, February 7th, 2020. And one month later, pandemic hit. I oh, go from uh, being on stage 10 hours a day because I'm a workaholic. I try yeah. to get better. So I just host all the mic and host all the shows wow. so yeah. I can get stage time. And then there's no stage at all. Then I found out TikTok. I just start talking yeah. to the camera <laughs> to say the same joke and yeah. work out my materials. That That's becomes, how I started. This becomes yeah. your stage, right? Yes. And the audience bigger. Even. And a million yeah. followers. Wow. So there you go. Your, your audience It's one point one, but nobody really cares. Oh, oh listen. The point one. Well, the point one matters. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, when you're at a million, it sure does <laughs> matter. Okay. Wait, and you brought up a good point. So you have you own two clubs yes. in LA. Mm -hmm. And you started this right before, like you said, before the pandemic yes. hit. I, 
so I got to ask you, I asked you this during the break, you went from being on stage to now owning your own comedy clubs. How does that, how do you do that? When I started comedy, I was breastfeeding my first baby. I pumped my milk in the car and wait around. It was <laughs> it's late, late night, because the open mic, because before you are good, nobody would book you for anything. But uh, then if you don't get booked, you don't get better. So the open mic is difficult. Every day I would drive four or five hours, oh. do the lottery and get in one or two mics. Yeah. I just wondering, I can't do this. I, I don't yeah. have 200 years to do this. I yeah. have to do something. I can be on stage every day. That will be my own stage where I can get people wow. to yeah. get on stage wow. every day. That's, a, that's, that's, that's why smart. I did it. Yeah. Own the clubs. Mm. Yes. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, you just announced uh, the stand-up special featuring, it's called Com Comedy Invasion 2.0, yes. and it premieres, tell me about it, premieres on Peacock uh, May 1st. Uh, yes. who, who, you know, that, look at this, what's going on. What can we expect from this uh, show? This is my first comedy special. Nice. 30 minutes. I remember that day I moved out from my house. We were uh, getting a d divorce. I drove from uh, a marriage directly into a career. Oh. <laughs> I, I drove a Yoho into the Japanese Heritage Theater for filming. My face was swollen from crying for two weeks. Oh, wow. But uh, I, I think it's, I, I mean, I look awful. I have double chin, but I'm proud oh, because I was able to power through the 30 minutes. I wasn't the best. I mean, I wasn't as I'm now because I had more work. I worked like harder, longer. I was young, but I was yeah. able to pull 30 minutes and yeah. I did it. Wow. I, I'm very proud. And it's yeah. also going to release at AAPI Heritage Month. Which oh, is very cool. Excellent. It's yeah. very special to me and I'm very proud I'm of it. I love comedy. I respect comedians. And to come up with 30 minutes of material is not easy to do. Especially in that emotional state. Yeah, but if you have yeah. a bad marriage, everything's oh. material. Oh. Everything is? I was going to say, <laughs> everything's material when, when when you decide to, uh, by the way, do you enjoy that I decided to use this mic? It's like open, open mic <laughs> yes. night. I'm like your host coming to the stage this morning, ladies and oh. gentlemen. Give us some big laughs and welcome. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's, that's great. Very mic. good. Is this on? Hello, hello, hello. Well, like, can we tell people how they can watch your place? Oh yeah, sorry. Okay. You want to do that? Mm -hmm. Do you want to do it or you want me to do it? Well, you Let's got the mic, it. You want to share it? Yes. Oh, I have the mic? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> I do. Uh, Zhao Ying, am I saying your name right, Perfect. by the way? Perfect. Am I really? You pronounce my Zhao name Ying? perfectly. You yeah. say it. Zhao Ying. Zhao Ying. Yeah. yeah, you did it. You should learn okay. Chinese. <laughs> I've tried. All I know how to say is Jing Tao. Jing Tao. The beer. Oh, the beer. Jiao Ying Summer is at the Laugh Factory in the Gaslam Quarter tonight and tomorrow. Two shows each night, uh, plus Sunday at the Madhouse Comedy Club. Nice. Ticket information fox5sandiego.com. Uh, on our website, it's unbelievable. You got, your, you got your mamas in town. You got the kids in town. It's like a whole deal. We have to ask one more question before yeah. we let yes. you go. What is your mom think about you being a comedian? She, beginning, she think it's impossible because of my accent. She was worried I'm gonna get a lot of uh, hard time. She doesn't time like the Kentucky accent. I um, <laughs> use, that use that line tonight, Jay. It's all yours. It's all yours. But then she found out that I, she saw my face on the marquee of the Laugh Factory because oh, okay. she helped me board my folding chair, waiting online for like uh, five hours every oh Tuesday God. for two years at the Laugh Factory wow. for the audition. And then she saw my face on the marquee. She's like, maybe you are funny. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you are. Maybe. Yeah, we, maybe you are. We funny. think you are. Uh, great story. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Hard work pays off. We Thank know you that. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate it, Jaya. Okay.